There ain't no grave down, more popularly known as Ain't No Grave, but originally written in this form by Brother Claude Eli way back when, then that's been covered by loads of folks and very creatively added to by a bunch of folks too. I plan to actually record a couple other versions of it, but I figured I'd start with the original. This was Claude Eli's version and it really isn't appropriate without an entire small church of people singing it very loudly, but I did my best. Anyway, uh, I played that song straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'm going to do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played, which isn't much. It's a very straightforward song. <laughs> and at the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along just like this one, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Now here goes. Okay, the strum throughout, I called it an even strum with blues notes because on every chord, there are only three chords, but on every chord, I never just played the chord. I always did something else. Now, if you're a beginner or you just don't want to work that hard, then feel free to just play an F, right? But the way I did it, I'm going to play an F now. I'm going to show you what I did with my right hand. Down, pause. Down, that's it. The down is a little bit stronger than the up, if you want to worry about that. 
and there's only one pause right after the first down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. But what I did with an F, every time I played an F, I don't think I've heard any exceptions. I did there, there ain't no gray. Sorry. That's what I did. I dropped my ring finger on the second fret of the third uh, string from the floor, making that actually a D minor. So. Gonna hold my body. Then I. Second fret on the fourth string from the floor when I held a C. Which actually turns that into a second position A minor, but don't worry about that, just... Down there ain't no grave. Here I did the third fret of the second string from the floor. Gonna hold my body down. So what you hear on the F is this. On the C, you hear this. Sorry. Gonna hold. And on the B flat, you're hearing this. Right? It just adds a little. Uh, I heard that in the original guitar work, on uh, or maybe in the it may have been the bass actually that was playing that uh, bit of a riff um, in Claude Eli's original recording from way back then uh but so anyway that to me that added a lot of style but again if you're a beginner and you just want to play an f c and b flat you can do that too all right that's it i don't have anything else to talk about with this i mean as far as the chord transitions from f you can use either your ring finger or your or your pinky to to drop that c so f c f and then i think of my index finger as kind of the stability point when I'm going from an F to a B flat, because it's going to stay right there. It's just going to flatten out. And then when I go back to the F, it's just going to arch up forward. See? Your index finger stays stuck to the ukulele. And that, those are the only, those are the only uh, chord transitions in the entire song. <laughs> okay. So now um, I'm going to play slow motion, tell you what, through the, the chorus and the first set of verses. Um, slow motion, close up on my chord change in hand, so you can come along with me if you like. Slow motion. Five, six, seven. There ain't no grave. Gabriel, don't you blow your trumpet until you hear 